Hello and welcome to PDFsupply.com. Today we're going to be troubleshooting an IC698 CPE040 RX7i processor. For this test I'm going to be using an IC698 CHS017 rack and an IC698 PSA100 power supply. So uh, if I'm troubleshooting something in my lab and I'm looking at a processor that is potentially troubled, I would typically look at the circuitry uh, the circuit boards front and back very closely and look for any chips that are either burnt, burnt traces or a chip that got bumped off when the uh, processor was slid into place. Now there's all sorts of things that can go wrong there. If that checks out, I take a close look at all the connecting pins on the back of the processor. There's two sets and I'm looking for pins that have been pushed in or bent. Uh, now if all of that checks out and it looks good, the second thing I'm going to do is put it in the uh, rack, screw it down, power it up. Now the processor is going to go through its self-diagnostic. And what I want to see for a good working unit is the CPU OK light. Uh, so this one is reporting to me that it's generally in good health. doesn't mean that there couldn't be uh, problems that you're finding elsewhere, but generally speaking, it's, it's in good health. So now that I'm connected up to it, I'm going to go into my software. I'm using Prophecy Machine Edition. And I'm going to get into program mode. Target on the top menu bar. Diagnostics. Now, if the diagnostics are not reporting anything to me or nothing significant, I'll go back to Target, Online Commands, hit Clear and I'm going to clear controller and I.O. fault table now that I've already seen that. That's the bottom two selections. That's the only thing that you need to do. Hit OK. And then I'm going to hit download and start active target. The purpose of this is I want to try to get the processor into run mode. And I also want to test the toggle switch on the top that goes from stop to run with outputs disabled to run with I.O. enabled and make sure that this uh, switch is in good working condition. And I'm using, when I'm downloading, I'm downloading hardware configuration and logic. Okay, now that my download is complete, it allows me to test this toggle switch. And all three positions are working. Stop, outputs disabled, run, and run with outputs enabled. So if you're still having problems with your processor after this test, if you've gotten as far as I have and you can't really find anything wrong, it's possible that the problem would lie elsewhere with another card in the rack perhaps that's bringing it down. Um, potentially in the I.O. if the processor detects any faults like short circuits uh, to the things that are connected to your I.O. cards um, that could potentially be a problem as well. So if you are stumped and you need help this is something that we commonly repair or replace and have in stock. You can reach us at 1-800-360-6802 or find us online at www.pdfsupply.com. Thank you.